recording now. So, we are not live, we are recording though. This is a game we are doing offline because World 20, like we moved from World 20 because of internet problems. Now Twitch is giving us internet problems, but it's being solved because I can just record it and upload to YouTube, which is what I plan on doing. Uh, where we left off last, you guys had just completed last challenge from down in the basement. And you guys can explore this building while I talk about this, by the way. Just to get control of your characters and whatnot and understand how that goes. Uh, you guys went downstairs. You guys talked to the walrus. You guys did all four challenges. And you found a book. And the book <coughs> happened to have the rhyme of the frost maiden in it, which is a poem. Uh, you guys do have the poem. Let me see if I uh, supplement. Ooh, no, player handout. Uh, this, yeah, all of you guys should have this, so I think I can hit show players and all of you guys see it. This, if you, you guys see the handout, and then if you hit the image, you'll see the text of the handout as well, or the image of it, or it should. Yeah. Uh, I've seen it. So, yep. all cool. that works, that's what you have handout wise. Um, other than that, you guys have went up killed the dragon and you now have the dragon's egg uh you also have the other loot the harp and stuff which something that i added because we are on this site instead of foundry at the top of all of your guys like journals and stuff you have party resources now this is where you add like anything for party like money or gold or anything for the party you can add it here and everybody can both see it and access it when needed. Is that in the um, item directory? The no, the actors directory. Actors. Directory. Yeah, that party's info. Yep, it's party resources. It's little ca uh, calculator. It's above <laughs> all your character sheets. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, ah. We can add stuff as you need to that at any point. Uh. Also, for you, Brandon, the stairs work. You guys can go downstairs. Oh, I already went down. Yeah, you're, you're like not stuck. Notepad. Is there an option for that in here? For like, so uh, I could keep running notes. You, there, it's over in the journal side, like two, like a category to the right. You should still see you know, like characters, your name, and oh, create journal entry. Notes. Okay. You should all of your notes should be there. You should be able to still mm -hmm. edit it. Oh, but. okay, cool. Thank you. Yep, they're all there. Okay. Nothing got deleted in the move as far as I know, except for maybe an ability or two. Um, so, you guys now have the rhyme. You guys now have the the egg. Who knows how much time you have, Lev, but you do know that if it's within three days, the whale is coming back for you. Um, well, is would the woman... Sorry, are you still recapping? Or are we good to go? Uh, we are good now. I, I basically caught you guys up. Uh, Valen is the uh, woman, by the way. With so you. would Valen have a track of the time? Like, is, would she uh, have I an believe, idea of everything? Well, Iraq was keeping track for the longest time. Okay. Uh, Iraq, what time was it when we were in this building? Uh, just over a day when we got here. I'll say, at most, with all the challenges and stuff, a day has passed. Uh, that's why you guys are leveled up full health. I, I'll say a day at most has passed. Like, as far as you know, other than the weeks that you guys spent in the one challenge, or days. Uh, you don't know, though, if that was a permanent thing. Gotcha. It, so we could have up to a day left. Before or you could be a week late. Yeah, or we could be a week late. So we should start traveling back to the rendezvous point. It's kind of my vote. I don't want to be stuck here. Uh, there is one on. thing I am missing. Is the greater uh, favorite enemy? Okay, I'll try to I get that it. edited in. I think it was it freaked out about the last couple things added. So. Okay, I mean, I can, I can just... I don't know if, because this doesn't really have a compendium for me to pull from, right? Yeah, uh, it kind of does, but not for abilities. Oh, okay. um, there's a compendium all the way to the right. I have it for items and for spells. Oh, okay. 
I, I just I know the favorite enemy. I believe I chose uh, dragon or uh, dragon. The best thing oh, you, you can dragon. do is five E tools. You might be able to uh, character man advance, but I'm not sure. With you, I it probably not. Uh, we'd probably have to remake your character using their specific import character man thing for it to work. Uh, but a, it I'm, might. Work. I just know that. <clears throat> I just know that it's. I can always add it in. That's not okay. a big deal. I was just. Uh, five E tools will help you with that. At, at the very least. Okay. Uh, oh, it's not giving me any, any languages. Oh, because I clicked on the enemy. Okay. So, um, I, I clicked on the walrus and it, it didn't like it. Uh, but. So, you guys. So are, skip here. Yeah, you can go through there. I've locked any doors you guys haven't explored yet. I wanted you guys to use this as a getting used to moving type thing. I don't mean to alarm you, but I may be lost. <laughs> uh, can you ping so you. I can see where you are? There's someone else. No, no, I, I found you. Okay, cool. What, where did... So you can go down those stairs. The walrus is down the stairs. Okay, I want to go talk to the walrus again. Can we check these doors? <laughs> There's a button to open the door. Yeah. That's another cool thing about Foundry. You can open and shut doors, and I can lock doors. So you guys... That door is already open. So if I shut that... If I shut this and lock it... Oh. Um... Wait, that's no why did I get jerked over somewhere? Oh, if, if somebody's talking... And I can turn this off, but if somebody's talking with a token, everybody's, like, vision gets jerked when they're talking. Uh, but um, and I might I might turn that off just so we don't get jerked. Uh oh, I might have to refresh because I fucked up something. Um, um, system. Oh yeah, that thing's dead. Of course. Pan. That skull is really speaker. small. <clears throat> uh, one other thing I just noticed too is I don't have I have third level spell slots, but I don't know third level spells. Is there a way I can just get that in in? Oh. Here, just to say third level so I can track it. What oh, uh what do you mean? <clears throat> for the for multiclassing, for the way that the spells stack. Yeah, the, uh, the way that the spells, I'm I can, I only from... Okay, I only know That's second level spells, but I have third level spell slots. Yeah, uh, I should be able to on your sheet that should be taking be Yeah, it just it's only just showing first and second level and I wanna be able to like if I click healing uh, word um... Boom, let's see, um... The rocks this is and Neo the... are the fuck out of here. Uh, you're it's a half caster. A... Rangers are half, right? It's yeah. not a steel or a rock shell. Uh, uh, did that fix Neo it? Neo and a rock shell. That did fix <laughs> it. There you go. The revised Ranger <laughs> wasn't, uh, put in as a half caster when it transferred. Oh, okay, I think we you. did find a way out. But, um, just opening up all the character sheets again, because I like to have all of you guys open. No, we need to take Theo with us. He's the one that carries all the party's money. You're right. I also, I'm carrying the dragon egg. We need to go find him. <laughs> I, just, I just never left. Uh, as you guys start leaving the building, you notice... Uh, I'm just fast forwarding to you guys leaving. In fact, let me just. Um, boom. Before we leave, can we say goodbye to Akuma? You can. But as you're down in the basement, you hear rumbling from upstairs. I'm gonna say goodbye, then, um. Run. Oh. I'm, I'm just. Oh, sure. I'm moving. You got. I assumed you all left. That's fine. Um, At all costs. Me and Araka left, uh, left with Theo. At all costs. So, as you guys leave the building, you guys hear a great crashing rumble from behind you. And as you turn, you see the top of the building, like the top half of the skull and crown, just crumble. And it starts crashing oh. down. Oh no, is it come gonna die? Uh, it doesn't go yeah, all the way down. Yeah, you left him in there to die. No, um, ah. it doesn't go... Another person you've killed. Uh, no, it doesn't crumble all the way down to the ground. Know. What it is, is it crumbled, like, halfway down the skull. 
And you know, Yukuma was underground. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So, there's that. Um, Do you yeah. think Yukuma feared death? Uh, Yukuma doesn't fear death. Yukuma's you chill. guys hear from the distance, Help! I'm scared! I'm going to die! Did you hear something? I'm sure that was somebody wall. else. Yeah. It's me, I'm Yakuma. Sure. I'm scared of death. <laughs> uh, it's an imposter. Yeah, yeah, definitely imposter. I feel like uh, we know Akuma. We're we go way back. Akuma start funny. whistling really loud. Dominic, you don't know me. Help me. <laughs> no, no see, you guys aren't even friends. Why would we help him? No, I, I'm kidding. I, you guys <laughs> don't know nothing. Um, but you guys are now about heroish. Okay. B line it. So where so should we just uh yes. crack on? Yes. Yeah. Sweet. My vote too. So mm -hmm. there's nothing really like it seems like a lot of the more dangerous stuff have calmed down since you've defeated Ariel. We got three of the five votes. Uh and you as you guys go. Which, by the way, each one of these is 200 feet, I'd like to point out. That's, That's why we really want to cool. go now. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Why are we going down there? I'm just doing the path. Oh. Uh, as you guys get to the end eh, 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 there, uh, you see calm water down at the bottom of the giant steps. You guys are at the top of the water. high, high steps. Yeah, calm water. Like You don't see any ripples or anything in it. Oh. Walk down and step on it. So, uh, I can swim. And I hold his collar so, when he does it. In case he, tries, uh, in case couple, he falls in. Like 10 or 15 minutes later, as you guys have to climb down the steps too big for your own feet, uh, you guys get to the docks where you guys started this journey. And... As you get there, you see uh, 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 on a chuck, like get out, like ride from the water, the dome, invisible dome pushing water off and then fading away as he surfaces. Nice. I see you guys are alive. Yep. I was going to leave soon. Not worth the risk. Mm. Well, good thing we're back. What exactly is the risk? That I bet he was scared of that dead dragon. There's many creatures around the island that Aurel uses in service. Creatures bigger than I. Mm. Aurel's dead now. He, he, this one eye looks at you. She is a goddess. She will be back. Yeah, that's fair. Deities don't tend to stay gone, and they tend to be upset at those who make them gone. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Didn't did. she bestow me a magical spell? Uh, you, I believe you have kind of cold pool. Well, I don't have nothing in my spell book. I know, because I didn't put it in there. Should be oh. in there. Like the wood door? I don't know. Yeah, um, if I remember right, it was a breath weapon, wasn't it? Basically. Uh, I'll make sure I get it from World 20 and whatnot. Uh, but, um... Yeah, so he has surfaced, and he's ready to take you back to the mainland. Valen is like, we we should hurry. I I do know where we need to take, where you need to speak, the rhyme of the Frost Maiden to open up the path. Though Already? it is on the glaciers, out in the tundra, so we may need to stock up before we go. My cold's never bothered me. Anyway. So pretty cozy. And as you guys all mount up, you guys start the, uh, the next three-day journey back to the mainland. 
straight. What did you roll? A D eight. No, he probably rolled his bag of uh, tricks. I throw I throw a weasel at uh, Dominic. So it's not gonna focus. I'm just gonna. A stoat just like goes flying at you. Do you command it to attack or just throw it at him? No, I throw it at him and okay. just let it run around him. I'm just gonna. It's can sniffing I your try and, Can I just try and cuddle with it? Uh, roll me an animal handling. I will roll you an animal handling. Animal handling, animal handling. Uh, I just it... want to note that a stoat is way less terrifying than a weasel. Oh, I thought they were the same thing. I mean, I think it's more of a rectangle and square situation. Like, I think a stoat is a form of weasel, but it's a tiny little cute thing that, you know what I mean. Uh, actually, it seems like stoats are bigger, like much bigger in size than most uh, st uh most weasels. Either way, a weasel, so I don't change whatever wording it's used, uh, you you can pick it up. It doesn't bite you or anything. With a 19, it, it lets you pet it and whatnot. I think it hisses at Aerie, and Aerie hisses back. I really need to get me a tan bag of tricks. Anyone got cool, cool stories or for, for the ride? I, I do. Nice. Yeah. Um. That's from Aerie. Uh, Wait, I, that's... I, can't, I can't read it. Oh, you, you your t character is out. Hold on. Let me, uh... For the record, weasels include lesser weasels, polecats, toads, ferrets, and minks. Oh, cool. So that's why I was like, minks are, like, scary little aggressive things. Uh, I, I'll put us on the start page so everybody has a token. You should be able to read it once you click your token. <clears throat> um... But, yeah, it's, uh... The... The journey, you guys see more underwater creatures like last time. More, like you saw that big skeleton that you guys saw on the way over. You guys see all sorts of eels and sharks and such. I think even at one point you guys see some giants down at the bottom. Like Ooh. just living in a little society. Uh, That's cool. The whale stays far away from them just because not wanting to cause issues with them. Giants uh, that can breathe underwater. It, it's a, there's all sorts of things, especially when I decide it. Um, Side mission to go to Atlantis, guys. <laughs> hey, that's Side actually story. Let's go. That that's gonna be a that's a city in my uh, own setting. So it's gonna be a very good. I talked to Kelly a little bit. It's gonna be a very good setting. It's a very good city that accidentally cool. shipwrecks people. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, it's built at the bottom of the sea, and the spires are so tall, they go out of the bubble, and they just slightly go above the surface. Oh, that's cool. But because of that, if people aren't careful in that area, they'll shipwreck over it. And punch holes in the hull. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, but that, you guys... That'd be how that story starts. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you guys spend the next three days uh, with uh, Theo throwing random creatures at you, uh, Dominic, throughout the days. Just okay. messing with you. That was a D6, not an 8. Not another weasel then. And I'll throw one more. I'm going to throw one each at you each day. Yeah. Ah, take a panther. <laughs> 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 uh, you, you the story expected. I wanted to tell was the story of how I came to this island with a plethora of friends, and I apparently am leaving with one less. Wait, story. no, okay, <laughs> okay, let's okay, let's get this on the table. Feel, I consider you my friend. That's not what you said. I didn't. Okay, I'll be okay. Okay, I may have told, I have told a couple lies in my life. 
me pretending I understood the language you were saying may have been one of them. Well, now you're just trying to cover your ass. No, you, were you, you lying then well or were you lying me. now? Right, you convinced me pretty well at that time that you could speak the language, so I'm, I, I'm assuming at this point you're just trying to make up for face, I guess. Uh, let me see. I, I've been having a tough time with myself lately, okay, Theo? I need... Uh, I've been having a lot of moral issues. Moral issues. Mo, no more damage. Theo, I can tell. I'm normally pretty good about telling if somebody's telling the truth. You want me to see? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, I okay. Well, then I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing, and going to be directly asking Dominic if he knows how to speak uh, Infernal, I believe it was. Well, no, 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 it wasn't. It was a primordial. primordial. You're saying, you're, pr yeah. you're talking about uh, the tech thoughts? Yes. You don't you don't get to ask him questions unless you probe deep and he has to save. What you get is surface level thoughts immediately with no save. Uh, well, that's, I, that's what I was saying, is I was vocally asking him oh, okay. about and that way I'm trying to catch whatever... Yeah is uh, whatever right. pops to his head first. So, I want your th surface level thoughts right now, Tom, and then whatever thoughts come when he asks that. Okay. Um, maybe I should just confess about everything. Ah, oh, what's going on? Oh, every... I, I honest, oh, I don't speak a word of anything. Ah! <laughs> that would be the inner workings of Donovan's mind. Okay, that's what you hear about. Uh I'm gonna turn around and look at Theo and go, I don't think he speaks a word of anything. Well, I mean, obviously he speaks common, so no, uh, speak... there's a lie right okay. there. He's speaking <laughs> a language. No. Okay, I speak, I speak, okay, I can speak three languages. Okay? I can speak common, as, you, as I'm speaking right now. Mm -hmm. I can speak Primordial. celestial. Primordial. And I can speak infernal. I cannot speak primordial. Okay. I don't appreciate so... being lied to. I'm gonna reach go... into the. I'm gonna eye you and just slowly reach. Go in. Not pull anything out, but like can, can <laughs> eye I, you with the. Uh... Can I have an insight then, uh, Theo? Let's see. Like it. I think you get the truth of what he's saying. Whether you choose to believe it, that's up to you. Uh, you might have an inkling that he's speaking the truth, but. Then again, if you really like want to believe that he spoke it and just hurt your feelings, that's what you could believe. I'm not gonna force your change. I'm just saying what you noticed. Uh, he, the things you noticed are like the slight, like you're noticing little tidbits of him that are normally associated with not lying. But whether you choose to notice those is up to you. Like, he's not sweating, he's looking you in the eye, that kind of thing. Gotcha. Do you believe me, Theo? <laughs> no. No, that's not. No. <laughs> it, there, sh there should be a... Uh, you might it just speak... Um, Primordial. Nobody else can read that. Oh, I, I can only have... Click on your oh, new my... token. On, oh, wait. I'm on this. I don't have... I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, I was wondering what you were talking about. I, I, I forgot I can move the pages without pulling you guys on this, and that's weird to me. I can finally read what Ari said. Hey. I, it's kind of rude, Ari. <laughs> So I have it on Primordial. I can read that. Nobody else can, right? Nope. Neither. I'm Wait, the speech gonna... bubble above his head, did that come to common for anybody? Uh... No, oh, paying attention? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have a speech bubble. Hold on, let me turn off speech bubbles then. 
I mean, it's still Scribbles. It's still Scribbles in the speech bubble? Yeah, so yeah. it pops up exactly what it pops on the text feed. Okay. Wait, Mike, are you the only person that can see Celestial here? I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm just gonna... Because this is important to know for later. Wondering if my token's gonna be in the way. It should go over your token. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot. That's, yeah, that's a language. <laughs> uh, he, you could say that. This is going to be a mental conversation, okay? Because she can't actually understand that, but it's going to be a, like a mental talk between you two. Yeah, it's a mental thing, yeah. so I was wanting for it to be. Uh, I had to reload again because I hit a button that I really need to avoid. Okay. Okay, so let me just go to Celestial. Okay, okay. It's okay. 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 Anybody want to play some cards? <laughs> Theo, 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 everyone, I don't want, I don't want there to be bad blood. I want to get everything on the table. So, I just hear no from Corey's <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So there's one thing I may have been not so truthful about. But apart from that, going at my dog. I've been fairly truthful. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna explain the one thing I've lied about, so you're all gonna need to be real cool about a lot of things real <laughs> fast. Is that okay? No. Okay. Everything's always fine until it's not. Mm. Everything is awesome. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well. Um. Okay. So. Uh... Technically. My name isn't Dominic. Oh right? Boy. Here we go. Here uh, we're gonna find out he doesn't speak primordial either, guys. No, like, okay. This, like, okay. I don't speak primordial. <laughs> yeah. A Ari's name is, uh, Dominic. My name is Ari. The, wait. So you're the familiar? I'm the familiar. I kinda did a good old switcheroo, if you will. Is Ari? I'm confused. The 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 body I'm talking to you right now is Ari's or Dominic's. Oh, I stole I stole their body. Okay. That used to be my body. That makes a this lot more sense. This used to be their body. Why are you telling us this? Because I I. Like I, I'm what I came out. I'm truthful. I want there to be, no, no bad things, and I don't want to die, knowing that I could have done something to not be a dick. Gotcha. I since we're all being truthful, okay. I need to I need to tell you guys that. Um... <clears throat> oh, actually, no, you guys never met my mom. Never mind. I don't need to tell you anything. <laughs> I yeah. thought I met your mom. Uh, oh, did you? No, I think. No, I mean. Yeah, because I thought me and him went. Because it was, wasn't that the time we separated cities? I don't remember. I don't remember either, but. Because I thought there was a, mo or a point where you visited your mom and I was with you at that point, but I may also be confusing that with many of the multiple trips to your dad's house. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just going to say that Mufon was not my real mother. Uh. Um, kind of much in the uh, <clears throat> Poe realizing that, you know, or not Poe, how, how do I the, the like, When, when Poe reveals that, that his yeah. the goose is not his dad to other people, like, 
come on guys really like you didn't see this coming and everyone's like yeah we know you know because Mufon's an orc and I'm a human <laughs> so <sighs> that's all I have to share this is what anybody else have any uh, realizations to tell everybody else yeah, they're truthful this entire time so no <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I fessed up on everything already uh, did, did you tell them about I how mean, you I'm, your crew I, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. So, are you yeah, going to go back to your party? Already? Answer questions, but I, I'm at least pretty do uh, all minimum. So everything's all on the table. We're all good, right? Are you going to go? Are you switching back, or what's happening now that well, you've come out and said who you are? I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know how to switch back. So were you stolen, or were you hot swapped? Um, like, did you have an option in this? No, not really. Yeah, oh. my, uh, my, uh, so-called master, I guess you would say. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like it was a bit more than that. Yeah, uh, Dominic's patron, uh, was disappointed in Dominic, so, uh, they figured I could do the role better, so swapped us. So you're telling me that Dominic was useless. Is that why Ari Dominic is always angry sounding? Um, she's basically yeah. squeaking now, angrily looking at uh, Adler. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. If if anyone has any ideas how we could eventually switch back, I would be fine. But I feel like, you know, Would we should killing at least one of you finish the job. The other. Pardon? Would killing one of you revert the other? Pretty sure we've seen Ari die. Yeah, uh... Oh, that's fair, that's true. Oh, no, sorry, I'm pretty Adler sure... Not, uh, that's the area, I clicked on Adler. Oops. All that's happened is I'm mortal now, and, uh, Dominic's now immortal. Because I guess that's what they wanted. Should, should I change you guys' names in Foundry now? Yeah, Are you yeah, going yeah by swap, swap them back. Yeah, I'm gonna go by Ari now. <laughs> Go for it. Confuse everyone just a little bit more. Well, if I would have known this, I could have maybe gone into more of a cleric study and gone the route of, like, you know, <laughs> maybe remove curse or working on a restoration abilities, but I have, definitely don't have those. I mean, D Dominic, are you, are you happy in your body? Or are you, you, like, how do you feel? Are you talking like, this? This is really weird. <laughs> yeah. you, like, I feel like you're talking to yourself right now. I look. I, I'm. I'm aware. It's look. It's odd for me too. It's been. It's been a struggle. Um. Oh, okay. You kind of are, have your own body. Are you? <sighs> so, I'm not gonna lie. I may have been a little bit upset. Anything going on? Where, like you guys even swap genders too? Like you know. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to question, but I wasn't <laughs> going to go there. Yeah, uh, that's, that's been a funny struggle. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> I mean, the, yeah. bo the bodies did swap 100%. Yeah. So any dangly bits. No, Dominic, what's it like to have tits? I'm going to look at our audience. Like, were you disappointed when you transferred? Like, did it not hold up to like what you thought was standard? Um, I mean, honestly, I, I, I used to not be able to tell, like, all you mortals apart, <laughs> if I'm honest. Racist. No, like, I just didn't, you just kind of, like, I don't know. Oh, look I mean, that's same. fine, I mean, all, you, very different all, to me, all right? humanoids just used to look the same to me. That's not like anymore, it. like, I realized I was bad, but I've changed now, like, now I see, now I understand. Now you right, guys only vaguely yeah, look alike. Yeah. Well, I say we murder him. Look, or you can murder me after we deal with. Man, what this we're whole this whole gender thing's gonna fuck with you guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to kill him. I'm not that angry with him about lying to us. Sorry, not that angry about her lying to us. Is that gonna bother you? Like, do I need to work on making sure to have the right pronouns? <laughs> look, look, I, um, 
I won't take it too much offense, even I'm a little bit confused from time to time. Okay. Honestly, not be able, not having a tail anymore has been a bit weird. A tail's the thing that bothers okay. you the most. I'm just gonna call you Domriel from now on. <laughs> Domriel, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. And we have a second Iraq. I guess. I guess it would be Eric, but close enough. <laughs> uh, and all <clears throat> this re uh, revelation happened probably either on the second or third day, right before you guys land. Um, I think for Lynn, it's probably just keeping her distance, not really butting in, because it seems like a conversation for you guys. But she is writing notes about what Ari is talking about. About that would explain why you just randomly kicked. You know, this giant rat, as it formed in front of me, except <laughs> another one, out so many times. <laughs> you were a demon. I get it now. Explains why you were being so mean. Technically, he was uh, yeah. a devil. Technically. Devil, sorry. That yeah. was my apologies. Well, did you did you correct me by saying demon? When uh, I said demon, did you correct me to devil? Yeah, I, I, I think Ari... Okay. I, I so apologize. On you were my only interactions with mainly outer world beings so i apologize I'm, on top of being flipped he also got demoted yeah i'm not gonna lie to you like i never used to question moral stability but ever since i've been mortal it's been a struggle i think something about mortality brings an understanding of wanting to improve the world is that why you keep asking us if we fear death it was partly that, yeah. I'm just... I... I don't... I don't know what I'm meant to do. Um... Who is your patron? Zariel. Mm. Same with Adler over there. Mm. Hey. Um, with that, you, you probably probably heard more of the first half of Zarya's story about how she used to be uh, an archangel but fell to devilhood. You probably don't know much about her after that. Uh, like, because what you probably would have read probably wouldn't be that. But if yeah. you might know a bit, it's up to you. Um, because I know so, you as a person know more than a fair share about Zarya. Yeah. So, is, I don't know much about her, but, I mean, all I know is she was an angel that fell to, it was a fallen angel, so maybe you're not supposed to be doing good, but right now you're doing good? I was what did you, what specifically did you do ordered you? to do good. Oh, that's weird. I can't about... disclose why, but I was specifically ordered to do good. What did you fail? Like you said, you you failed her. So why? Oh no, that that was done. Now you're sorry, Dom Dominic. I'm t you can't. I'm tr I'm trying. Okay? <laughs> I, <yeah. laughs> why did what did Dominic do to, to fail her? Dominic, would you like that? It's kind of your story. I mean. Oh yes, please let the the creature. Sorry. The being that I can't understand answer my question. <laughs> Dominic doesn't remember. Um, honestly, just I don't even like. I think Dominic wanted power, like they all do. But the thing with Zariel is, Zariel doesn't care what you want. Zariel only cares what Zariel wants. <laughs> So, so well, I just played her pawns. You know what I have just realized, though? All along, I could understand what, what um. Oh man, now I'm now I'm blanking on Corey's blanking on names now. Dominic. Dominic and what was the, the other one? Ari? I'm Ari. Oh, Ari. Okay. I, I just, I had a massive brain fright there, sorry. So, back to Theo. 
I, I just realized that I've been understanding what Ar Aerie's been saying this whole time. Because you've been Aerie. But I don't speak Infernal. <laughs> you speak Primordial. I don't speak Primordial. How do I know? Does Dominic, because, is that how okay, you could I've, I came clean. Okay, you must understand. I've, this, this, that was, like, I came pretty much clean. doesn't speak Primordial. Okay. I believe you. But, uh, yeah. Okay. I understand you don't believe me, but, uh, there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> Look, ask me, ask me a question in Primordial. <laughs> I'd like to tag the answer, like, when he asks. And then someone can read my mind while you ask it, and then surely... No, because someone will hear my, my thoughts. It's a very complex way of uh, figuring out if people <laughs> well, I look, okay. <laughs> it's a complex kind of day. <laughs> Is it four? Is the answer four? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I love... Can I just say, already my favorite roleplay thing is this language thing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. <clears throat> and then after I said this, I'm gonna look at you and like, ah, oh, like, what? Do you, what's your answer? Oh, you said a lot of words. None of which I can read. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, don't I wanted know what to tag said. him when he said whatever it is he said in Primordial to see what pops into Tom's mind. Go ahead, Aerie. What's Seth's thought? I, I, I have. I don't understand Primordial. I have no clue what he's saying. Like he, I hope he believes yeah. me. I don't know what's going on anymore. Ugh. That's what you get, Rock. That's yeah, what you get. He, he really doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. And I know what the question was, though. And we're friends. You trust me. Does he? <laughs> hey, hey, you trust me not to stab you while you're sleeping. That's that's as much as you can trust me. That's all you need to trust me. I love how we've had, like, at least two revelations here. Look, I don't know what any of that is either. That's a bunch of scribbles. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, fine. I'm sorry. I'll look at Neo. Okay, Nick. There's something you could read. Uh, I think Neo fell asleep. I am not asleep. I'm reading. Make sure you have giant tag, but you probably still do. I did. No, I changed it, but. Make sure you have your. Oh. I made sure I put it back in. Um. Was that you that said that, or Koi? Because it was Koi's token. I said that. Okay. I said two things in giant to him. Yeah. So you you can reply anytime you want. Oh. Uh. I'm gonna just. Gonna change up the music. I don't like that. <laughs> no, I'm just changing music. Okay. What's cool music? Well, I'll take what you say at face value. I appreciate that. Yeah. So, are we friends at again? At Paris. 
face well is it at Ari's face value or Dominic's face value because I'm I'm Ari right but that's Dominic's body and Dominic's face it's it's the same person it's the oh, same person who's been talking this, this whole is, time it, you can't like, hear the I, other one the eye isn't his the <laughs> eye's definitely mine points to yellow eye <laughs> Sorry, I'm, re I'm reading. Adler. I believe you, Dominic. I don't Actually, know if Dominic, knows Dominic's me. fairly truthful. Dominic's been saying this all along. Well, I mean, trying to at least. Yeah. Needs to just spit it out, though. But wait, Dominic can't speak common anymore. Ha. Oh yeah, no. Only Eric can speak common. Dominic can only speak infernal. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is made so complicated. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Secrets are no fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. It's at this point though. That uh. Yeah. Uh, I. I should jack surfaces back at Icewind Dale for you guys. So let me activate this, and this should bring us all back to the correct map at once. I have to activate, not open. Nice. Loading, loading, loading. It just keeps on loading. And if I don't want you guys to move, I can always pause the game, which is great. Come on, thing. The last percent. But yeah, uh, he surfaces back up here at, at, at Chuck's bell. And you guys are like, I moved it. Yeah. Which sadly, because we're on this map, means you guys can't speak those languages unless I pull your tokens out. Which I might. So is there a way to, like, whisper to someone? Probably slash W, so let's see. Um, no, it seems not. There, there has to be a way. Uh, but. Worst case scenario, we'll just PM on Discord. Yeah, I did this. Uh... Oh, you can emote, apparently. Uh, slash whisper. Yeah, slash W space target. You just have to write it out. Did that work, Coy? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So slash W and the out of character name on the left works. Do I have to type in all of Mike the GM? No, uh, probably. Because I'm an asshole, and that's what I left my name as. What's a black pudding test? I I put I said test, but uh. Oh, did you put slash WGM? I did. You know how I can tell, don't you? Oh. Uh, oh, because it added yeah. Yeah. It added the other GM to that. Uh. I was wondering why it did that. So yeah, slash WGM works. You don't have to type the whole. Yeah. So anyway. on the yes. left hand side in the top left, there's like the two rows of options of like hotkey buttons. Yeah. The things like you have token controls, measure controls, and all that stuff. Yeah. If I if you guys click the party inventory button right there, does it pop up? I put it our our party goal. Does it did it pop up there for you guys? Is one thousand four hundred and fifty nine. Yeah, cool. Yep. Yep. Uh, um, ten thousand silver and eight thousand copper. Yep. Yep. That looks. Party resources. It says resources blocked with able here. Once they are added. Yeah, he didn't have any actual items in there. What he had. I'm watching him add items yep. right now, like as we speak. That's so cool. Just... I'm so happy about that. Uh, also, on inventory sheets themselves. Like if you go to an item, like I'm I'm on a rock, 
you'll see uh, add to party inventory from there. So you can add to the party inventory from like items you don't want to carry yourself, or that you want to be part of everybody's stuff. Oh, cool. Uh, I I don't feel like if it was anything else like unique items, but I'm not gonna break up items for things yeah. that we could sell in the future. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Um, but you guys are now at the bell. If you guys remember, that's the hole in the ground. Dominic tried to play dead, and the vultures tried to eat him. Uh, cause that's what yeah. vultures eat, dead things. Uh, that's not the best move. I mean, you yelled play dead, so. He I did not. I, somebody yelled play dead, he just listened. Um, but, yeah, you guys are back on the edge of the sea of moving ice. Um, you pull out the map, and, uh, she, uh, uh Valen, does point out where you guys need to go and it's way over here on the right side of the map so it, it's slash w and then like if I wanted to space gm the oh uh yeah space there should Tom. be you guys' names are sure i'll probably change mine to mike after the game just to make you don't sure. you don't need yeah, to it just yeah, gm works. works yeah so i wonder just if mike works no, I was just gonna do. Um, it it should have rock should work for you, Neo. That's I was gonna try Ari. What if I could see whispers on here? Yeah. So no, you can use either them. you can use either in game name or real name, whatever you want to. Nice. But yeah, uh, she points out on your map that way to the right is where you need to go. So you. We can either, she can either, like, cut you guys through those, straight there, or you guys go stock up in town beforehand. I think we should stock up in town. <clears throat> Sounds like a decent idea. Better than insulting our friends repeatedly. Uh, I think it would be worthwhile to see if we can. I know the re their resources in towns are hard to come by, but we have plenty of party funds. We should definitely see if we can stock up on some potions, or I definitely could use some more arrows. You can't run out of those. <laughs> um, um, I'm going to roll a couple numbers. Okay. I have the numbers I need. So, you guys head back. Uh, we'll head to Bremen. And we'll transfer from there to where you guys need to go okay. for items. Uh, we'll say this is... Unless you guys want to roleplay out, we'll say this is like a, over a couple days shopping to build up supplies. Yeah, that's fine. Um, from um, different towns that you need. Because, like, if you remember Brent Chanda, I believe it was, you guys have, an like, a deal with the smithy that you get uh, money off. I think it was that I off. have in a note somewhere. It might not be one of these ones. I love your notes, Corey. I just want to say. What do you mean? I I'm just looking through them, and I I just I, it's hilarious sometimes. I I just love. Why? What What do you mean? No, just how you have it all like actually organized and whatnot. But like you're keeping track of certain things from other people. Like I I find it hilarious. Like I like your note keeping. Is what I'm saying. Oh okay. Like it's I you way were more saying, like. The way I have some things in here is just like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> you know? No, dead, um... Dead half-elf man, killed in caravan, we could get 25 GP for it. <laughs> yeah, too, yeah. Uh... 
So, upon your days and journey, let's say you can get your arrows uh, easily enough. Potions. Okay. Throughout walking three or so towns, could you you walked over from Bremen to Targos to Branshanda, you went up to Tourmaline and Lonelywood. Like those are the towns you guys would have went to to prepare. Um, unless you needed to go elsewhere, those are the specific ones I'll assume. And I would also like to see if anyone mm-hmm. if we could come across any magic items too, just to just to look. I mean Yeah. It hurt mm-hmm. Um healing potions and I think this will make up for any lack of magic items you manage to find to buy six regular and four greater one second here I'm sorry um... How do you guys want to? So we have. If you want a green. What'd you say we had? I'm sorry. Uh, you have six regular and four greater. Is what you find. Four. Greater. Um. What would, how much is that going to cost our group? Uh, 50 per regular and 200 per greater. So, 300, you said 200 per per greater, greater. and there's four of them. So, 1100. Seems about so, right. So, 3359. Okay. I put that in our, um, I put a healing potions category in our notes. What the hell is going on with my thing? Healing. Um. There. I think magic item wise, you guys, the only real thing you guys find is, uh, this uh it, it i can't pronounce it because it, it it's basically an aztec sword you know the obsidian jaggedness okay uh it is let me see what kind of sword. it is a long does anybody, sword do i still have the quiver of alona does anybody want to get because i can carry javelins and spears bow staffs and stuff in there does anybody want me to carry those? I can hold 18 javelins and six bows, quarter staffs, or spears in this. If anybody would need those, I can. Yeah, I can, I can my... show you what the item looks like. I'm currently carrying seven javelins myself. That should have oh, shown cool. you guys the artwork. It's like wood with razor blades. Well, it's, it's little bits of obsidian. I was hoping uh, it would come across a bow. I I what? have ideas for you with that. I just all my ideas wouldn't be sold. No, that's understandable. Um, is this something that might be beneficial to Neo? Is this like a long sword? It's a long like sword. Oh. Is it magical? It is magical, but so is your great sword. Um. Would- uh, Tom, would you be? Able, I think Tom is. No, no. A, a rock. You can identify this, right? Would you be able to tell us what exactly this could do? Or I'll ask the shopkeep as well if he would know offhand what this. Would uh, he he kind of sh- shrugs and just says, it, "All I know is it it's magical of some kind, not very strong, or else it would have been more expensive." So I'll identify statement. it. Okay, let's see if I can give you permission to see it and not everybody. Uh, ooh, I can. Okay, boom. Uh, observer. So, um, you should be able to see it in the magical items. Uh, for Kelly. Also, I would like to try to find a way to easily transport this dragon egg. 
with us. Um, maybe try to do a little bit of research to figure out what it might need to like incubate or to help it incubate. Easy transport for a five foot egg is kind of difficult. Uh, the best I mean, easier than we're talking the about the brutal, right? Yeah, the brutal. You get Dominic to sit on it. Uh, because. I mean, I guess you could bag of holding, but if it needs breathing through the the scales, that will kill it. But we don't have a bag of holding. We have one. Do we? I, don't you, uh, Kelly? Or was that something... Sorry, what? Bag, bag of, of holding? holding, I do. Oh. oh. No, I don't want to put it... I don't want to put it egg, because what if it, you know, we're not going to know when it hatches. Yeah. Um, it, can I buy, like... A How to Train um, Your Dragons book? Well, I mean, if they have one, that would be great. <laughs> but, um, maybe like a kid sled that I can outfit to have it, like, nestle the egg with some... Like, take a kid sled, frame it in, uh, put some hay so the egg is, like, nicely protected like a box. Put a cap so nobody can just see this. Right, so yeah. I, I, I mean, want to see this. And I'll just bring one of the dogs. I'll bring, um... One of the dogs um, with me to see Arcana. Pull it. Uh, Valen will take a look. And it was like, it, it seems to be because of the cold in a stasis of sorts. I've heard dragons do this. It will lay dormant until the right conditions start happening. Would you happen to know what type of conditions might be needed for, for this? For a silver dragon oh, like this, uh, okay. the scale, the size of the eggs tend to be the same color. Though this might be a one of the uh, gem dragons. Those are much rarer, so their eggs might not look the same. Uh, but if it's a silver dragon, just looking up. I have gem or gems in there. Pull, I'll start pulling gems out of my backpack. Like I have some quartz, aquamarine, uh, black pearl. It might. You have a whole ship in your pants? I exactly. do. It's an auto, uh, though. It may oh. just need a nice, quiet, frozen place. Uh, being a silver dragon. It might need even colder temperatures than just passively out here. You might need to work on making it colder. Maybe a cold box of some kind. Uh, okay. That's all I could think uh, of. Or maybe it just doesn't feel safe yet, so it's not hatching. That's, that's understandable. Um, Dragons so are very knowing, intelligent. Ha having that in mind, I'm going to create like a, a box of some sorts to hold it. Um, and just pack it with the bottom I'm going to pack with hay just so it's soft and then I'm going to pack and box it in with snow and try to get I it to freeze I can use a cold breath like my dragon's breath too when we get to a place where the egg would consider itself safe or whatever Valen, yeah, I can try to help too, get yeah. it colder the Valen speaks up and says if it is a gem dragon and not a silver dragon cold will most likely not damage it uh, but the only likely for my studies is a crystal dragon they so what would we have to do for a crystal dragon <laughs> hot or cold is this what you're gonna tell me one needs fire one needs ice no oh. crystal Humidity. dragons are radiant creatures ah not me. Either way, I would be hesitant to hatch it right away unless you plan on bringing it with us when we go to the forgotten city of the mages. Uh, I mean, I can leave it with my parents. I, I trust them. If you guys want to leave it here so we're not lugging it around. Or we could bring it with us and have a bonding with it but then we run the risk but we also don't run the risk because I mean still it could hatch what's the point of having a baby dragon if it's not with you I agree with that 
Yep. All right. It's so baby dragon. They could be though. Especially if you time wizard it. Um, knowing that, I'm going to take Odin and Gaia with us, my two of my sled dogs, and have them take turns like pulling it, so it's not so much work. You guard the baby, you pull the sled, and then you take turns. Yeah. And, um... So, Radiant. I don't have any Radiant spells, but I do have Cleric abilities. <laughs> I don't think Turn on Dead is gonna help us. <laughs> the egg just stands and up and what the, the weapon does with everybody. And... Okay. Because there is on way to... There is, I can just uh, tell it okay. to uh, not just you, but everybody be an observer. Yeah. So everybody should see this when I uh, hit this. Oh. Not quite the radiant we were looking for, but. I'm glad for the music too, because it helps stop quiet spots. I. Mm. I'm not. I. I'll be honest. I'm not gonna use that. But if anyone else would, we can buy it. I mean, I don't know about Neo, but I don't know what he's currently using. Uh, he's using and how this compares to that. Uh, Plus one greatsword. Uh, effectively. Uh, this probably is worse. Like, this is just one of the random items I had in here. Mm -hmm. um, I just. That's what I was saying, is I think he's the only one who could use it, and I don't. I can't really do his comparison. Um, I, I, nah, I think. I think I'm gonna if pass he on prepped it for it, uh, Adler might be able to use it, but he'd have to plan on it. Yeah, no. It might hit. See, might hit more often I, than well, the great sword. If I had if, a house that I could collect weapons, this would be. Uh, dude, it's a it. ship full of all the people you wait. <sighs> just say that right in front of everybody. <laughs> That's just extra luggage to carry around. And to Not be fair, good. last time you were on the ship, there was also an ancient white dragon there. He could have ate those people. We don't know. It's a she. Can't you gender she, dragons properly? She could have ate. No. A rock doesn't deal with animals. That, a dragon would be insulted to hear that. <laughs> to a dragon, you're going to raise a, We're trying to raise a baby dragon and you're, you're being so hostile about him. Uh, this, the dragon needs to grow up in a loving environment, okay? Alright, I'm not cut out for fatherhood. <laughs> I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get some milk. And the rock's gonna go to the tobacco shop. Yep. Yeah. And then those two just leave the campaign. They're just never coming back. <laughs> this is how they tell me the DO. Uh but yeah, that's the kind of supplies you can get in town though. Uh generic uh player handbook stuff you can get easily enough uh so if you guys need anything other than the potions and that sword you can just buy it do we just do we need more rope are we good on rope you know the one item nobody ever buys that is super helpful a steel meal a what a i normally do mirror? uh i had one for the longest time playing in your last game I I typically always buy those. They are they are super useful because nobody thinks about it, but you can like look around corners with them. It's really cool. Yeah. Um. Are we gonna rest before we head out? Fuck! I just threw that. In. I assumed Ooh, you guys would be all there. fully rested up. Okay, so if we're gonna spend the night here. 
I'm gonna just try for shits and giggles here with the dragon egg. Um, and using like my channel divinity twilight sanctuary, since it's semi radiant, to, in my mind, in Theo's mind, it's radiant. I might actually have a radiant ability. Um, can be considered radiant because it's, it's not damaging, so I'm gonna do like temporary hit points to the egg, so it would yeah. be like a pseudo like warm feeling you know because you're getting temporary hit points yeah um um go ahead and i get to actually try it, it like i i think i lost it i had something i was gonna have a contested bowl but uh i have a dumb question as well once you're done go ahead can i identify the egg i mean technically it's an item until it's born uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of what I thought, and it, it's Tech. kind of a magic item, so. I don't know about magic, but identify doesn't not work if it's not magical, so. That would be great, because then I wouldn't necessarily have to. Yeah, let's go with the that. Route that I do. Because uh, if it's cold, I'll offer my assistance I want, further. And I'll give oh, you this please. at advantage, because people are helping. I, they... Go ahead first with your identify. You cast it. Um, I think you do tell that this is a crystal dragon egg. Uh, and maybe during your identify, your hand like goes over small parts in the shell that are hard and pokey that turns out to be the little bits of crystal that you didn't notice before. Uh, and like during identifying, um, you sense that the egg is dormant, so it might be like Valen said that you need some kind of radiant energy or maybe some kind of force to prove to the dragon that you're okay. I crushed the egg. You what? I crushed the egg. As a as a celestial, would I have or sorry, as like an, an ASMR like fall an ASMR, would I have any sort of radiant things I could use on it. Um, this might actually be a good point for something, uh, I, uh, I was thinking about having you do, uh, Aerie will actually whisper into your ear. I hey, Dominic. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dominic is whispering into Aerie's ear. If we can't get anywhere with it, might be able to ask um, my goddess Saluna if she has any ideas. Is there any magic happen. shops in these town uh, in the town we're in too, or no? That's kind of where you got the potions and that one sword, if you wanted that sword, which I don't think anybody wanted it. Could we ask them if they knew of anybody that could do radiant stuff? Or if we went to a church. Is there a church in this town? Uh, there's probably at least one, but... Um... Theo, can I have the egg for a second? Mm. Oh, we got over this. I thought we had trust now. <laughs> sure, you can have the egg. I, okay. I do. I do what Ari, uh, Dominic says. Okay, so I'm changing a feature on yours because I'm giving you. I'm taking away a feature and giving you one of the upgraded features from. Oh, that's mean. I can hear Dominic. She whispered in her uh, her ear. Oh. Um, for thoughts, if you will. So you guys remember when? Uh, he grew like the rings and such and the uh, scorpion like tail mm -hmm. he it looks similar to that but it's not that what is happening and this feels the same for you Dominic that that did yeah. but mm -hmm. due to some character growth and stuff you are no longer a fallen ASMR oh you, this is what happened. From your back, two luminous spectral rings sprout temporarily. 
you have a fly speed equal to a walk speed, and on each of your turns you deal extra radiant damage. And what you do is you push that radiant into the egg. And the egg, like, glows from the inside out. And you guys all see a silhouette of what you can only assume is a dragon, a little warmling. And you see it move slightly. Not like in pain, just like a pulse of light to it. Like stir? Yeah. Oh, question. Are we doing this in the center of a road or something? Or in the center of this magic shop? Um, I assumed you were outside the city messing with it, because I assumed that Theo wouldn't just haul that egg everywhere. I assumed Theo would keep that egg under wraps of some kind, it being yeah. a dragon egg. Alright, I was just curious, because we didn't say we went anywhere with it. Completely That's why I was asking. I mean, even if we did, someone can come and try to take it from us, but that's not going to happen. I will behead him! I Especially with, I believe I still look like Neo. You never stated that you don't. So, there's two Neo, like, Neo twins standing next to this dragon egg. That's the only way one... I can tell you guys apart is when I speak in giant. Well, no, one also, uh, a rock wears a rock clothes. Why Neo wears yeah. his vest and such. That's fair. Even when I'm Domarak, I still look. Also, I'm still wearing my clothes. Also, Neo just looks confused all the time. Because that's Neo in a nutshell. Why a rock looks like he actually knows stuff. Whether he does or not, we guess don't it would know. be Ariok. It wouldn't be. <laughs> you lied to me. Should I just <laughs> sit and feed this dragon some radiant energy for a wee bit then? Uh, it's only a minute that you have that ability, so you can for a minute. But that okay. that might have been enough to. Uh... If I'll say after a minute, I can identify it again and see if it's still dormant or not. I I don't know if it would help, but. I can aid and do the twilight that that's yeah it, not necessarily directly radiant in its in itself but it is from a divinity sense or standpoint yeah on yeah. um yeah a sphere of twilight emanates from you it doesn't specifically say So, question, since, uh, since I can't do anything, am I able to build an igloo? I mean, you could if you... You might be able to if you, like, knew how. I'm gonna try to build an igloo. He's gonna start learning new skills. I'm gonna learn the art uh, architect skill. You got an um, engineering check? Yeah, uh... Not engineering, but what I would want is probably just roll me an intelligent check. Like, are you smart enough to build an igloo? Intelligence. You should be able to just click on intelligence. This one? It oh. should ask for save ability or roll. check. Just put ability check. Not a save. Um, eight. I grew up in the cold weather. You <laughs> cold regions and then I am a giant yeah but you spent a lot of your life on a pirate ship I think you build a square like you, you build four decent walls but you can't quite you don't know how they build the, the sea I built a snow fort yeah snow forts are pretty cool are you like a snowball fight I'd be so down for a snowball fight. There he says, what, with her hands what, on the... What ability check do I need to throw a snowball at? Um, hey. a dexterity. Not an airy. Oh, I'm throwing it at it. I'm next to one flying. Don, don, uh, no, um... Aerie's the one... Airy is the person now pumping energy into the egg. Dominic is the imp sitting on Aerie's shoulder. Yes. Oh, then I'm not going to smack him with it. I'm going to... Question. 
Glory to Aunt Kelly. <laughs> to be fair, this is a very interesting Adler. Yeah. This, okay, so um, you throw it and it just Adler does that. Like I know it doesn't hit your AC, but does that like how does it like unaffect you or miss you? How does that work? That was a pretty weak throw. So it just stops. Like you balls. You throw it <laughs> and it like hits the ground in front of Adler. I don't know if I can throw better. <laughs> <laughs> I throw it even worse. <laughs> and look. <laughs> you guys are just ripping each other. It makes contact. I just want to know who who hits first, honestly. Oh, there we go. Hey. Adler throws a snowball. And but I was about to start cheating. I <laughs> cracked you. <laughs> In the face, Neo. Get out of here, fancy boy. As man. Theo just throws one at both of you at the same time, hitting both of you. Because uh, neither one of you were looking at him. Wow. You still attack. miss everybody. But, um. You know, I gotta. <laughs> my dexterity is not great. At the end of the minute of, uh, and all of your Twilight energy put into it, Valen says. I think the egg realizes it's among, maybe not friends, but not enemies. It, it will take time now to see. Cool. I think we'll know in a, within a day or two. Just a side uh, note, is there a way to turn advantage on? Uh, actually ship click. Okay. And then control click for disadvantage, I believe. Well, uh, what was that dexterity one for? I was I held shift to click the to check. I just wanted to see uh, what I, I would do. This is how I was gonna cheat. Gives me advantage on dex based attack rolls. So uh. I was wondering how to do advantage. I mean, it is a new system, so learning it is going to take... Nice strength there. Uh, take a little yeah, bit of getting used to. I never said I was strong. <laughs> um, uh. Jesus. So I, I will still make that thing for the egg, but knowing now that it's a gem dragon and not knowing anything about them, I'm going to put, like, my the quartz and Akuma in there, too. <laughs> Um, just be bedazzle it. Yeah, like you know, just trying to make it feel more at home, I guess. Because if it was a silver dragon, you need the like, cold, according to you know the information we've got. So I'm gonna just put the. Does a gym dragon egg I, need to stay I warm? I don't know what that is. Really. Well, they said he said radiant, so it just I don't. I'm assuming. I don't know. Should we cover it up? I have it. I have the box with hay in it, and so it should be okay. Oh, I was just getting that you had the extra cloak too. We could throw it over top of it, sure. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a little camouflaged. Yep, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the, my quartz aquamarine and cracked aquamarine in there. I don't want to put a black pearl in there because <laughs> I don't want it to, you know, bad juju. It comes out a black dragon. Yeah. Just acids you off. Yeah. Uh, I could also put a bloodstone in there too. <laughs> oh, red dragons. Those are always friendly. Yeah, right. Uh, long, it's like a dog. As long as you raise it and give it lots of love, it might not kill Dominix. <laughs> yeah, except for this this dog has a higher intelligence than you. <laughs> we'll have. Well, I does, mean, with Neo, does have your... Uh, own. hey, who has an intelligence of 13 or lower? Um, me? It does I'm have. <laughs> For those of any higher, it will have. Uh, I have a 14. I am, I am 14, baby. Any, anybody <laughs> with a 14 is equal intelligence. Hell yeah. Uh, 
I am as smart as you. <laughs> Who I needs intelligence when you can debow stuff? Uh, so, not not that, meaning to rush us or anything. Oh, now, no, you're fine. We're over here. Now yeah, we have the egg tray <laughs> properly taken care of. We have all of your supplies taken care of, and we're up in Lonely Wood. We know that where we need to go is, and I can actually, I actually, is it this? No, what? It, I don't know where this is on the thing for me to select on the map because the map layer is real now. Uh, I don't know how to just select stuff, but it's up here that we need to go. So, according to the ruler, there? I don't want that. According to the ruler, we're about 50 miles away. I like how you have 49.53 miles and then parentheses 49.53. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just in case you don't understand the first one. Uh, and that note is still in the note about my uh, travel speed. So, oh, my through bad. the snow on dog sled, you do two. My bad, I moved it. You do two uh, miles an hour, and you do 24 miles a day. So it'd be there in two and a half days? Yes. Days. You'd get there, you would get close to it about halfway through the second day. Or third day, sorry. Halfway through the third day. Uh... You guys pa uh, passed the cabin in which a rock died. Um, did we ever check that not out? alone? Uh, they did get back there to get the animals. Yeah, but nobody's seen Forgotten in a long time. So you think they just skipped nope. out? Exactly. Are you, are you saying that nope. we've forgotten someone? Exactly. Um... I don't know, I've got pretty good memory. I feel like I would have remembered. <laughs> it must be the not speaking primordial, apparently. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, but, um, I think, uh, and I might have, I'm gonna have the egg hatch at the end of the session, I'm just telling you. No matter how many days, that's how long. Because I want to do something for the egg, and I don't want to do it on recording. I'll do it afterwards. Um, because I don't want the egg to just die. Oh. Uh. Oh. He's just gonna. He's gonna have it kill someone. Well, no, I, I, I don't want you to have like this is this, but we're level eight, and this instant dies to anything. That kind of thing. Um, so I have I have ideas for that, uh, but in the meantime, about halfway through your third day, uh, um, as you crest another ridge, you spot dozen, a dozen humanoids approaching. Their cloaks flapping in the wind, sweeping from the eastern glacier. Uh. You see, they don't look like they're, like, attacking. Like, they're ready for attacking. Uh, they look to be, uh, ten of them just look to be, like, standard, like, nomad warriors. But one of the front two looks like he's, like, a leader of some kind. And the one next to him looks like a shaman of some kind. You probably recognize more than, uh, anybody else, Neo. Just because your people have lived in this area, so you probably have seen them more often. I'm gonna turn back into a rock, so if I have to talk to them, it's not too neo. I might be, I might be seen as less threatening. 
<laughs> so they don't talk to you in um, giant language all, and you don't understand them. All your clothes feel slightly, slightly stretched after a week of being uh, near. <laughs> yep. They're really baggy. Yeah, no, they all... Like, you guys see a little bit more bird chest. Like, cause this... Like, like they, they, they stretch. That's okay. <laughs> Light tears in the sleeves and stuff on them. Yeah. Um, but as they approach, do you guys do anything or do you let them approach? Or? I, just, I keep my eye on them, but I let them approach. When they start getting close, I will yell hello. Okay. Corey said he'd be right. not like we're hiding. So, he's our speaker. Wow, he was well, your speaker. Uh, everybody else does dumb shit. The shaman appro uh, approaches you. you. Wait. The speaker, I just make poor life decisions, so I'm not the best speaker. The shaman, like, waves at you to signal, like, to show empty hands and signal that he doesn't mean um any harm. And he points to this, like, rocky alcove. Well, it looks to be blocking the wind a bit, and he leads his people that way. I was about to say, uh, what's uh, it off that way? Yeah, we uh, wave and then uh, head that way too. He, as you guys get there, he greets you. He's like, I've had a vision that you would arrive today, this hour. I've come to give you a great warning. Tigers with ice in their veins come to spill your blood upon the snow. They will do everything in their power to keep you from finding what the Frost Maiden has preserved under the ice. Tigers. It can only mean I'm one thing. Good. The Tiger tribe are coming to, with forces to stop you. Alright, how many of them are there? Knowing the followers of Frost Maiden, probably as much as they think they need to end you without a threat. So, like, 50? 100? Uh, do you know when? If we know that you're arriving today, chances are they have received visions as well. We, we wish to aid you. To end this eternal venture, if you would let us escort you. Quick question: Are they? Uh, are they? No, you're not. What do you think? Goliath giants still? What? Are they Goliath giants still? No, they are humanoid humans. Oh, all right. They're, they're yeah, just your people. Question. Your people would just know of them and whatnot a bit more. Um. What was I think that? that's a great uh, idea, though. That's a great idea? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm agreed with this. He nods. He's like, good. The... And he's like... Let's see. Just know the fate of the Dale rests upon your shoulder. And he... He turns and nods to his people, and they all, like, pick up their spears, ready to head out. And continue the way you were heading. Uh, you guys walk for another mile or two, um, uh, another hour or two, you heal from, um, the shaman who introduced himself as, uh, his name is M Manil. <laughs> Of the elk clan, because these are elk warriors. Uh, you hear him make it like just say uh, that you're not far off, and what you see ahead of you, you you reach the glacier wall, you see the raid glacier rising hundreds of feet up into the air. The foot of the glacier is still half mile away, though. 
suddenly a good two dozen to three dozen warriors burst from the snow 60 feet away from you. They are spaced roughly 10 feet apart and begin advancing in a line. Um, anybody mm-hmm. with a passive perception, so this is Theo, I don't know about anybody else, of 15 or higher are not like surprised. Passive perception. Yours is low, I believe. Passive. It's plus one, isn't it? Your passive perception, I don't have inputted, but yours would be uh, 13. How do you check passive perception, sorry? Um, it's your, uh, your passive perception is your, um, perception plus 10. So, I the plus, I need to so, put. The, whatever your perception well, is. 14. So, I've got plus 4 perception, so I imagine yeah, it'd be 14 it, then. Yep. Go. Cool. My perception is plus one. Your passive everything is, is right two. next to, like, acrobatics. It'll say plus one and then 11. Oh, that's, that's your passive cool. okay. acrobatics. So if you go so, to perception like, and go all the way yeah, over. Yeah, your there. passive investigation, your everything is, okay. like, has a passive score right next to it. Just for that's the actually really cool. I found that's that. Cool. Yeah, I, I, just, I literally was like, what's that? I was like, that's funny that mine matches that exact number. And then I covered over it for a second and it popped up and told me. And I was like, oh. Passive athletics. Cool. Yep. Uh, I probably won't use any passive, but like general passive. I mean, I mean, they could for, it's they good could to for know. the moments of I don't want to fall down that hill. Well, yeah. what, you know what I mean? Are you just walking down the hill? Because. Yeah, anybody with a, a 15 Ohio isn't surprised. I know that's Theo. Is that anybody else? No. Okay. What you see ahead, of, like, with the, um, with the tribe member, and you guys probably remember her, you see John Hild and her large... Sabertooth Tiger, I believe she has. Is that the lady that made me a werebear? No, 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 no. This is the uh, lady you guys stayed at camp solo. You know, why she oh. went off to attack other people. Oh. Mm. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I have this one here. Uh, show player. Where, uh, where... Yeah, where we spent days waiting on them. Yep. Uh. So, when the fight is starting, Mjö, Mjö, uh and Hengar, the leader of the elf people, turn to you and smile and say, you continue on, we'll hold them back. And they all, like, get their weapons ready. Oh, man. <clears throat> all right. Um. Okay. Everybody ready? How do we get up the glacier? Or do we have to go under the glacier? Uh. It. You don't know what you have to do. <laughs> I was asking the team. <laughs> do you guys start going though or are you yep no, no we start going, going yeah commitment we'll book uh you guys want to uh, run forward and leave the and you just hear sounds of battle behind you like uh, just sounds of spears and swords hitting each other and shields hitting flesh cries of pain you guys just book it forward to the ahead. I'm so scared of death. You guys <laughs> reach oh the bottom of the wall. <laughs> this is, and let me see if I have a handout for this, because this would be way more impressive to tell you if I have a handout. Um, let's see. Handout? Uh, creature and mon- no, that's Creature and Monsters. Uh, handout? Oz, Oz, Oz. Do I have one? 
Reindeer, no. Do I have a glacier, a G? No. I have one for this island. This is a cool picture to show you guys. That was that building you guys entered. Um, oh, nice. I don't have one for this wall or anything. Um. So what? So what you guys see ahead of you is an immense, glistening wall of blue ice. It seems impenetrable, but you notice that a lighter color strip nearly bisects the wall at one point. This must be the frozen waterfall that Valin spoke of. And when you guys noticed it, Valin urges you to uh, to read the rhyme of the Frost Maiden. They say that's the only way to open the door. Who which wants is, to read which it? Is this. I'm, I'm quite happy to, to read it unless someone else wants to. Nope, you're cool. Good, go okay. read do you, uh, do you want me to actually read it out? If you want to. Sure, sure. <clears throat> we bow to she who wears the crown. Let the world shiver with dread. Clad in winter's whitest gown, her snow enshrouds the dead. Her fury sheds but frozen tears as gray as clouds issue forth. Her wind across the wasteland shears, bringing blizzards from the north. Ice-kissed flowers caught mid-bloom, beauty kept in all its grace. Summer's gone into its silent tomb, stilling in her cold embrace. All the world's in winter's white, sheathed in sleet and ice. Set upon never-ending night, she conjures paradise. Behold her everlasting rhyme, see how it covers all. Weep not for those she traps in time behind her glacial wall. Sovereign of summer's lost, the general of winter's war. Long live the queen of cold and frost. May she reign forevermore. And as the last words of the poem are spoken, a rumbling sound comes deep from within the glacier. The noise reaches a crescendo as the great wall parts. Through the crack, you see an opening that leads inside the glacier. I, I did the rhyme. I'm not walking first. Avanti, <laughs> I'll go. Commitment. Commitment. <laughs> I start walking. <laughs> As we enter the caves of hunger. Oh no, I'm hungry now. <laughs> I prefer a snack. You could, but it's so late. It's like past two. <laughs> it makes me feel better. I'm eating sour candies. The warheads. Hey, those are deadly over there, apparently. They're made out of vox or some shit. Chipping teeth. That's Fuck. true. Well, you don't eat it like that. <laughs> you just, you just kind of like let it chill in your mouth. Yeah, you don't, you don't eat it like that. That's your own fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we taught you how to eat warheads. Hey, it wasn't me. Hard candies, man. Don't, don't be crunching on no, them. That... It's not a jelly bean. <laughs> To be fair, though, they, they liked the Mike and Ikes that was sent over there, so. Oh, Mike and Ikes were good. Apparently, there's a place nearby you that actually sells them, too. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, I, I wanted to go I first. Gotta send you, I gotta send you some uh, Scottish treats. Oh, Is there a door get. here? There's no door over um, there. Where you, where okay. you have, that's where you can't. You just have, to, oh. just have to try tonics. Like, this, wine this is the door. Out. Okay. Ah. So, you guys are now in an area. I can read out as we go, but remember that while walking. Also, your token is broken for me, Kelly. Why? I don't see it. You want to get rid of it and drag me back I, out? I'll drag you back out. I don't see I'm it. I'm right to here. No. I, I know, but I can't. If I click on my torch, you hit delete light on light yours? I'm looking right now. I can't move, but you broke my torch. Hmm. Oh. Oh. I can okay. update the token. Are you able to see that one now? Yeah, oh, no, yeah I can see the moving one, but not the other one. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna move it out of the way because I don't think I can. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. Nope, I can't. You try to hit the lead? Yeah, just move it off to the side and I'll delete it if I see it again. Yeah, okay. I just put it by the entrance. Okay. Uh, Koi, just to make sure I, I don't, can't. uh, oh. forget her, I'm going to, uh, ask you to keep track of Valen here. Because I'm trying to make sure okay. that I don't forget NPCs anymore. That is my, like, New Year's resolution for D&D. &D. Uh. I've reached a room. So you should be able to I control can see the hallways now. and stairways and stuff. So, let me explain the first room you guys started at, and then there. So, H1... Do I need a torch, by the way? Oh, if you can't see in there, yeah, you're gonna need a torch. I can give you one, though. If and... I click on my torch, will it give me one? Not that I know of, but I can make... I can give you... I can try. Go ahead, try. No, that's hitting somebody. Okay. Okay, so, I have a problem, too. There you go, I gave you a torch. Uh, Thank you. What do you have I am unable to move. move. You're unable to move still? Mm-hmm. Ari, represent actor Ari. Ari, play Ari. Should be able to. I mean, if you... Who all can't see in the dark? I know, I don't have dark just, vision. Just Neo, I think. Why okay, you... well, I can, Neo, I can give you the... Wait, oh. you can move now? I can move with the arrow keys. Okay. Hey, so I have to bring that other token with me because it's popping to its eyes, so I can't see where I'm actually at, so... If, Vision... If any of you guys see me moving two tokens, that's why. Uh, here, let me, I guess I'll refresh real quick, Kelly. Okay. Uh... So before we, before we head out... I'm going to cast Eyes of Night on us. Um, that way it increases everybody's dark vision to 300 feet. And also we'll give Nick th uh, dark vision as well for an hour. And I'm also mm -hmm. going to use my... Um, I know it's... Okay, which one is not your one that you want to keep, Kelly? Um, I am currently the bottom one. So I can get rid of this one. Yes. Can you see still? Yes, I can okay. see perfect. I could see out of both of them. The problem was is that when like the page refreshed, it would sometimes jump yeah. me to the one that, that I had work. set aside. So I couldn't like see, and I have to click on the token in order yeah. to see through that token, and I can't see the token to click on the token. So. Okay. I'm also going to give Nick, sorry, Neo, Advantage on his next I, initiative roll with my vigilant blessing. I think he might well, get that he already already because he's a barbarian. Okay, if he does, then does anybody want advantage? Um, yeah, fail instinct. He has advantage on that. I'm just gonna alert everybody that there's something up there that I can see. Um, <laughs> so before you use your torch, uh, he grants you dark vision, Nick. Alright. And uh, does anybody... I can give someone advantage on the next time that we roll initiative. Does anybody want that? Yes, that way I don't roll a four. Okay, I will give okay. that. Okay. So, it doesn't so at the entrance where everybody was, what you guys see is... um, that It was described. Um, what uh you see here a lot. Because you guys don't see any of these things. I just don't have them hidden. So what you see in this room, as you come in, you come into a 30-foot high cavern. In its center, the remains of a wooden ship hall lies on the floor. And the Professor Orb, as you guys remember, Valen's uh, companion, you hear thumb out loud, not loudly, just talking. Ah, a Netherese sky coach. I've always wanted to ride on one of those. Pity it's no longer in one piece. Uh, cool story, it, it's bro. like it's a really just shredded hall. Um, 
Fucking no duct tape. We got rope. Uh, and bubble gum. This is beyond bending. <laughs> That's like zip ties. We got this. Yeah, yeah so just, can, there's a bunch of bend. Yeah, so there's the remains of the ship here. There's sides off to the. There's paths off to all sides. Where would you like to check? I guess we'd. Uh, I'll check the ship. Scrummage there. Uh, I'll look to see if there's by any chance any way to repair it. Okay, so looking through the ship, are you guys trying to be quiet? Or are you guys being loud? I would try to be be quiet. Yes. Um, I'll probably also be quiet. Yeah. Walking in with Tom. I've probably got the cloak on my hood up. That makes me sneakier. I'm not intentionally being loud, but I'm not intentionally trying to cover my sounds. I'm just kind of like chilling. You, you guys have doomed us all. Okay. That's all right. If sorry, anything I'm comes, we'll just sweep the leg on of the less favored part of member and run away. Oh, so Ari. Mm. I wasn't well, saying see, I don't like that plan. <laughs> When do we make the vote? Yeah, I mean, like, do we guys... vote on the least favored party member as we're running, or is it a predetermined thing? It's been determined. I don't remember Can I... voting. Can I vote <laughs> for myself? Uh, it was a group. It, uh, it was a um, so, majority vote. So you're not trying to be quiet, uh, and you're searching through the ship. In the ship, you see four headless skeletons in, like, wizard robes. And a big iron safe with a combination lock that has the numbers 0 through 50 written in draconic. I wouldn't okay, see time that. To go one by one. Uh, uh, would the dwarven scroll that I happen to have be for that? <laughs> has a series of numbers on it? I don't think so. I think that was for something else. Uh, but... Uh, Rushing through there, and this is gonna be the first combat of the session. As from all the sides, come flying out these cackling flaming skulls. As it's eerily quiet, I'm gonna need initiative. How do you do that? Okay, so right click your token, and on the bottom right you'll see a sh shield with two swords. Alright. You click that. I click it. Now, up on the top right, there's a fist. You go uh, down, uh, and you'll see a. Uh... Like, click the die next to my name? Yes. Roll initiative. Okay, I, I got an 18. A bowl, uh, NPCs, right? Yep. Boom. I am not the second one in the line. Okay. So. I'm going. It did not let me roll with advantage. And it did not. Uh, oh, roll another d20 Just... and I'll change it. If... Cause I think I do I need it. to do that too or no? It Yours auto does it. Oh, alright. Hey. What was your second uh, D20? Uh, 14? It should go up by 4. So it should be 15.12. I didn't know if um, Belle was going to be in combat or not. Uh, she's with you, yes. So. um, And begin combat. Oh, that's cool. Little circle there around is. you, showing that it's your. All right. The music really so accents it. Accents this. Mister twenty nine point twenty. He tried to go for thirty. He did. But he can't physically get there. He nat twenty it. Yep. He nat twenty that. 
Ah, oh, he fucked. He's fucked. He ain't getting no one of those. Can I see the the flaming skulls? Uh, see the one they you you see the you hear the cackling and whatever ones you see from your spot you see. Um, you ignore half cover and three quarters covers too. So. Well, yeah. I don't see any. Well, you hear the cackling. Here. See if I can see anything more. So it's five. Oh, it keeps track of your thing. Nice. Yeah, no, it it locks, it will lock you from going too far. <laughs> Still can't drag and click to move. That's fine. It, it's that's weird. That might just need a refresh. I'll I'll just refresh real fast. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a sharpshooter shot at the one up here. Cause that's the only one I currently can. Okay, go see, ahead. I can see the tail end of this one, but I don't think I'm really supposed to be able to see that one. Oh, or that's got full cover there, so. Vantage. I, I am. Yeah. You hit. If this it does the annoying thing that I think it's going to, it does. Okay. Uh, give me a second before I have to delete some of these, and I'll. Uh, Please keep track of the four flame skull initiatives up in the chat for me. I know they'll end the chat, so I'm going to have to uh, add them to the screen. Like they were basically all sharing the same HP. Oh, gotcha. Which is an easy fix. Is that one from the first shot? Is it still there? Yeah. It, uh, it sh let me check because. I have it set up to where it random rolls the HP when I drag him out. Nice. So, uh, let me just add these guys. Uh, update this one with the 16.17. It says there's a one with the 18.17. 16.17, 18.17, 15, or 5 and 14. Everything point seventeen. Yep. I really like how smart this uh, initiative tracker is. Okay, so this one takes 22. Uh, it is still there, but it looked just about bloodied. Okay. I'll go for another one. Uh, you, you hit. Uh, if you hover over it, you should be able to see the little thing. You might be able to see the little thing. Do okay, you... so it's near death. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's a really cool uh, thing that I have set up too. Nice. <clears throat> um, just going to use my extra attack. Just take a standard longbow attack against him. I'm not gonna clockwork it. Um. But that will also add a D8 for the dread ambusher, so 15. You you, you killed. Okay. I like how. Uh, oh, his name. I, I can mark uh, it and defeat it. I think that skips over an initiative, too. Yeah, it turned red. That's cool. Um, so... Oh, I ended my turn. Uh, let me see, because it has a fly speed. Yeah, 40. What can it do? Because I want to make sure that I use it effectively. Okay. I see. Okay. So, it's going to come out here. And it sees a room full of people. So, it's just going to shoot two rays out at the two people near it. So, first of rock. 
23 for 10 fire. And Thea. 7 will not hit me if a 7's against me. It is. Okay, that does not hit me. And that is its turn. Neo. Um. I can only kind of see this one. So I guess I'm going to march my happy ass over there and smack it. Um, inventory. Um. Is that Titan's Tooth Claymore my greatsword? Yes, it is. I, I, how do I do my fancy greatsword attack? Um, on your inventory, if you do the, if you click on it without clicking on the roll, uh, don't click on the dice, but click on the yeah, name. You should see, I think it's alt roll I set up with that. Let me double check. Um,. I am setting up right now for you. I might do alt wall for. Um, I'm, cause there's a way I could have this set up. I'm trying to make sure. Six plus. As it says, uh, alt roll. Uh, yeah, no, it says that. Uh, I. What we'll do, because I don't have it set up right now and I don't want to set it up, just go ahead and roll it. We'll subtract 5 from the roll and add 10 damage. Alright, um... So, 21 does indeed hit. So, it, uh, minus 25. Second one... Uh, 13 does still hit. Oh, it says my attacks. Oh, you said you were subtracting stuff. Yeah. What would is you like the to skull still, Is the skull still flaming? Uh, no. Once you, uh, kill it, it falls to the ground inactive. No file. I'd like to pick it up. Uh, well, you have to do that on your next turn. Damn it. I wonder if these are the floating heads of those wizards. Or things that were in the wizard clothes. Uh, also, side note, my screen just popped up and told me to get ready. I'm next. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, heal is going to do what the last one did, but with different people. Uh, airy, airy, first one's at airy, second one's at, uh, Adler. Adler. Seven does not hit. And airy, does a 15 hit you? Um, yes. Okay. And that is its turn. Do I need to apply the damage myself? Um, if you have your token selected and you go over the damage, you'll see little numbers, They're like little squares, and you can click the first one to apply full damage or half damage if you resist it. I actually, that's one of the things I love about Foundry the most. Is that you could just click to accept damage. Oh, I think that's done it. It might have. Yeah, it took it from your temp HP too. That's something that Roll20 was ignoring me about. Sick. Um, what would you like to do? I forgot Roll20? about temp HP. Um, would I be safely able to fire a firebolt between them? Yeah, I'm not gonna make uh, you thread the needle and not zap yeah. one of them. 
Well, that's what I was assuming that when Dominic sort of got attacked, that he would have reacted and cleared even more space in between the two of them. Uh, as you shoot the fireball, you hit it, and it looks like it does nothing. Oh, its oh, fire out. just kind of swallowed up your fire. Uh, is there anything else you would like to do? Not at the moment. Okay. Go ahead and end your turn. That's another thing I like with this. It actually is on the players to end, so I don't accidentally skip your guys' turn. Or at least I could, but I don't have to now. Okay, I do, have to skip, I do have to skip that one, though. Well, it's my turn. Okay. I'm gonna I'll do move the that. politest way of telling me to hit the damn button. Oh my god, I got. Oh my god, I'm getting so many get ready here up next. Yeah, that's because I, I deleted uh, the two tokens, so it's updated and it's like, hey, you're next. These ones are dead. You're, uh, you get, get ready. You're gonna have to kill some. Nah, man, I haven't killed a single thing this entire campaign. How do Are I you serious? Do? Uh, Elder Splash, here we go. So I just click it three times? Oh, uh, sorry. Click it, yeah, you should have to click it three times, but click it one uh, uh, at a time until you show it. Um. Uh, that one misses. Uh, that one also misses. Um, I don't think I only have two, don't I? Yeah, you only have two. So that's me. So both of your shots just right off to the sides, knocking ice off as it, like, kind of falls on it and melts over its head. Yeah. Wow, you rolled a three and a two. Yeah. Uh, let's see if Adler can, uh, roll this. Go you ahead. can do it. You killed Go that man. your turn, uh, Eric. Oh, wait, oh, wait, sorry. How do I... At the bottom of the fist screen. Oh, the screen. There we go. Hey, there we go. Uh. Now, what does... Did we ever ask what your Eldritch Blast looks like? Because I don't remember. Uh, I no, yeah, because it, it's just like it comes out of the tip of my sword. It's just like a pure black ball, like devoid of color. Oh yeah. Also, Ellie, if any of your magic changes appearance, do we explain it, and that's perfectly fine. I like to imagine since I'm, I've changed from fallen ASMR. There's more light that's coming out of it. Oh, that's cool. I like uh, to imagine there's a shock. I'm just as shocked as everyone else when it happens. Oh. Um, uh, Alright, I'm assuming a 22 hits. Nah, you missed. That one's the one with the brain still in it. Uh, the first one hits. God, I did the damage. If you look, if you hover over it, you'll okay. see barely injured. Okay, I, I just didn't see any any color change in the bar, so I'm like, okay. Oh. I know a nine does not hit. Uh, no, nine does not. Hit. On you. That one hits the wall right now. Well, uh, there we hit. Maybe I should become a pacifist at this point. <laughs> Fill it with love. Go give that a hug. Go give that flame a hug. You don't have bad to hit. Uh. Yeah, but like I, I always do just enough damage that like it doesn't kill. So I have to go here. Um, these things don't have flyby, do they? Hmm. 
I think this thing is suicidal enough. This one heads up to you, Nick. Sorry, Neo. And you see it, like, screaming out. And you also, uh... You see the fire around it get brighter and brighter. Can I slap it with the side of my... As it explodes into a fireball. Jeez. Um, 20 foot radius. Let me do this. So that's me, the rock, and Five, Theo. 10, 15, 20. I counter spell. Do you have counter spell? Me. Oh. Okay. I wait, I'm pretty sure. Wait, I'm. Wait, give me a sec. But I'd be in that? Like, I'm like a quarter in it? Um. I, I have counter spell. Can I use it? Yeah, you can use your reaction counter spell it. Do I, I'll just roll that then. Yeah, you just click it. It should tell me what you need. We have no available packed magic spell slots. Um, you should. It just might not have let me. Um. There you go. Oh, okay. It was just weird and didn't give it to you. Okay, so you try to interrupt if a creature. Let me see if this is what it wants. Um, uh, Spellcasting. What do you say? There's no amount, but uh, if it casting says fireball has vocal so yeah it you would have seen it you can counterspell it because it's a third level you automatically counterspell it okay and congratulations Sorry. you are the first person i've ever dm for that's counterspelled hey it should have made me feel if i had the if i had the ability to counterspell i would be using it non-stop i know I ju here's I just the great part there. there will be somebody in the future that has counterspell that will counterspell healing because I'm that kind of person that I'll, I'll at least one time counter spell counter spell a so healing spell what is counter spelling um counter spell basically says no to any spell no. yeah <laughs> see I didn't like the spell he was doing so I just Valen, to no to uh, would you like to control Valen, uh Koi sure um, I, she's going to use, um, I'm just going to ever do three charges of her magic missile wand. Um, I actually need to custom put, uh, four, three, two, three, just so I can keep track of these, uh, yeah, so it, just seven so she'll be down to four and it's three casts of magic missile or a third level cast of magic missile which I don't really use that one very often so I'll have to look it up exactly what it does uh, so it would be 3d4 yeah. plus three yeah uh, can you not click this oh no hmm that's so 3d4 so 10 damage uh 10 damage is it plus anything you said uh 3d4 plus 3 and it's on this one up here yeah so, she has six. Do we put so, yeah, so she, it's she 10 damage move up, hit it and then i'm gonna have her move back away from us yeah, her main. She wants to live, so that makes complete sense. Yeah, does she have any more? She does. I'm gonna have her go back there. There's no a sense in living if you're in a fear of death. Mm, treasure. Now, Theo, it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, goody. Um. I'll take two attacks on the same one that got magic missile there. I'm going to take the first one as a sharpshooter. That's 
second one is a long foot. One Damn second, because your sharpshooter kills it. Oh, so 13 does hit? Okay. Yep. Um, And then from where I am, yeah, I'll just shoot the other one at the, the standard longbow at the other one. This one over here. Okay. Um, And I'm going to... No offense, guys. Back up a little bit. <laughs> as much as I can. And... Oh, my turn. I'm really glad I got the random HP things working, because that definitely makes every monster feel differently. Oop. Does that hit? Uh, what do you call it? I'm I'm using the great weapons thing. Oh yeah, that still hits. Let me uh subtract uh ten more though. And I'm gonna obviously do it again. Uh, that one does not. Does hit. not hit. And I can't back up because I can't disengage. I mean, you can back up. Uh, that ain't disengaging, so he gets an attack opportunity. That if it can. Uh, too late. I already ended my turn. Okay. I'm slightly farther away, <laughs> but possibly just make myself the target, but that's better for the group. But anyways, I'm just going to take a shot. Wow. <laughs> uh, also, I have a module that automatically maximizes dies when you crit. Nice. nice. Jinx. A little crit there. Did I hit that right? Come on, thing. I clicked you. Near death, bro. <laughs> um, boom. It's not doing it, so I have to manually do it. Fuck you, thing. I give a rock a big thumbs up. Um, and with that. Combat ends. So, is there any uh, anybody opposed to me putting the skulls back with the bodies? No. We're, uh, Some of them have holes in them. Some. Some of them are slightly cracked. Yeah, but it's still more respectful than leaving them laying in the ingrid snow. Completely and Sometimes, fair. I mean, remains need to be complete before the souls can rest. So. I'll accompany you. I'll carry two of the skulls. I'll I grab watch for moral support. I grabbed these two over by me, and if you don't mind going up and getting the two that you murdered. Yeah, no problem. So that's the least I can do. And nothing crazy happened when we no, put you the put, skulls you put them in. Body, right? And I think what happens as you put the last skull in is you guys hear a rattling from behind you. And on the little baby sled, you see wiggling of an egg. You see a crack appear on the egg. And that's where we fade to black as the session ends. And Neo's oh, heart melts. No I, that way, we also give Koi time to think of a name, too. Well, nice. uh, I'm not gonna. I mean, I can come up with a name, but I'm not gonna be. I don't want to take that away from anybody else, you know. If, oh, I, I just, know. I just know you like to name things, so. Let people think of it. Um, things to name. Um. I just don't want people to think I'm. I'm taking this from everybody. You know what I mean? No, it's, you it's specifically a said last week when we didn't play. Oh look, Nick's not here. That means Theo gets the dragon egg. I mean, you're not wrong, but I mean, that still doesn't mean that I'm not gonna tell everybody else. Wait, wait, wait. Is it a he or a she? What? We don't know yet. Don't assume Yeah, you don't gender. know. We didn't even know Dominic was Ari for was the longest time. That's true. I was just asking. Wait, <laughs> because I gave a radiant en energy, does that make me kind of its mother? <laughs> yeah. um, we'll like find out. Your identity issues worry you. 
Oh no, more identity issues. That just hey, that just means that alien is very gender fluid. It's fine. Yeah. Very progressive. I guess. I mean, I uh, they do have that well, kind of stuff floating around in well, modules. I was, about, I was about to call it a same-sex parent couple, but we don't actually know if that's. I mean, same we'll current to, sex, we'll but to, not. We'll have to figure it out don't, next week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That I'm gonna end the recording here. I'm gonna talk to them a little bit before they all go to bed. Everybody that has watched and will watch, I hope you enjoy it. And I, we won't see you next week because Super Bowl. But the week after, we'll do something for sure. So I'll see you. Nice.